Hello, my name is Michael Newland, Vice President of Product Management for Event One Software. In this session, I'll introduce the concept of Excel based reporting and its advantages. Microsoft Excel is a very powerful data analysis tool. As I'm sure you know, Excel can be used for such a wide variety of tasks that it wouldn't be possible to go into all of them in this session. Here is what I want to focus on. When properly coupled with your company data, Excel can do so much more and with less time and resources. My goal is that by the end of this session, you'll clearly recognize the benefits that Excel-based reporting could deliver to your organization. Before I talk specifically about what Excel-based reporting is, I want to take a quick look at classic reporting and how it's typically used with Excel. When we talk about reporting in general, there are a variety of different tools that you could use to produce a report from your company data. For example, your software might include its own built-in reporting tool, or you might use a general reporting tool that you can plug into your company database. These would be examples of application-based reporting tools. That is, the reporting is not being accomplished within Excel. I bet I know what you might be thinking at this point. You might be saying, but hold it, I can use these reporting tools to place my data into Excel. So doesn't that constitute Excel-based reporting? Well, not quite. It is true that you might be able to save the report as an Excel file or import the report into Excel, but your reports are still not being produced within Excel, and that is the big difference. This is the push method of creating reports in Excel. At this point, your data is now in Excel and no longer connected to your database. Next, you would typically perform other steps that involve changes to the layout, addition of formulas, charts, combining other data, etc. Even if the report was already in the format needed, you may still be placing your data in Excel so that you can interact with the data by searching and filtering. You devote some amount of time to this step so that you get the result that you need. This is time consuming and again prone to error if steps aren't completed correctly. Finally though, you end up with the desired report and all seems good. Now for the big question. What happens when you need to produce the same report again for the next reporting cycle? You go back through the entire process again, starting with the first step where you produce the report or reports again from your application. You then put the report data into Excel, apply the formatting, the formulas, and other analysis features, and verify your work. Doing this, each and every reporting cycle represents a significant investment because of the amount of time spent over the course of weeks, months, and years. Now let's take a look at Excel-based reporting. We start with an Excel-based report design which includes links to your company data. The Excel-based report design encapsulates all of your Excel formulas, formatting, charts, filters, room for other data, and other analysis elements. The Excel report design therefore represents your completed Excel report without your data. Using the Excel report design, you then create an Excel workbook and your company data is queried directly from your company database and combined with the report design. The result is a completed Excel workbook containing your data already formatted and organized the way you want. Instead of your data being pushed into Excel, data is being pulled into an already formatted and organized Excel workbook. As for how to produce this again and again, that's easy. When your data has changed or you wish to rerun the report with different parameters, just refresh the Excel workbook and current data is pulled using the current report parameters. This is what we call the pull method where data is being pulled into a formatted Excel workbook. With the pull method, your workbook retains links to your database, so it's just a single click of a mouse to produce the report again and again. That's compared with what would probably take hours using the push method. Using a pull instead of a push method is therefore one of the key aspects of true Excel-based reporting. But that's not the only reason to use Excel for your reporting needs. Let's take a look at some of the other advantages of using Excel-based reporting. First, Excel is a natural choice because so many people use Excel, have some degree of experience with it, and are comfortable navigating and using an Excel workbook. The learning curve is therefore small, and the comfort level is high. Also, as I mentioned earlier, Microsoft Excel is a very powerful data analysis tool. With your data in Excel, your reports become interactive, instead of static and read-only. Here are some examples. Cells or columns intended for data entry allow you to combine your live data with your own information to produce real-time results. This is not possible with a static read-only report. Filtering tools allow you to quickly slice and dice your data 
so that you can focus on the information that is of immediate interest. This can make Excel into a powerful business intelligence tool. With the robust charting tools of Excel, your data appears to come to life, giving you a new perspective of your information and what it may be telling you. When you need an extra ad hoc calculation added to your report, it's just a matter of adding an Excel formula. And when you save your workbook, your changes are saved as an ongoing part of your report. If the report had been created outside of Excel, how easily could you do that, and what skill set would it require? Many times, data on one report is related to other information such as reports, documents, or even locations on the Internet. Excel provides the ability to link your report data with these other related resources. Using Event 1's Excel-based drill-down technology, Excel worksheets can be tied together, providing a means to navigate summary and detail information with just a double click. Using the capabilities of Excel-based reporting that I've discussed, you can now see how Excel could be used for executive dashboards, business intelligence, management reporting, exception reporting, forecasting, and much more. I hope that you have learned how effective Excel-based reporting can be for your organization. I invite you to take a closer look at the Excel-based reporting products that we offer for the specific software applications or database that your company uses. Thank you for investing the time to take this first step into the world of Excel-based reporting.